Maybe you've heard the story. On his deathbed, the inventor of ADHD, Dr. Leon Eisenberg, admitted it was all a sham. He said ADHD is a prime example of a fictitious disease. So why is it I'm taking a not fictitious stimulant and some not fictitious Wellbutrin to fight a fictitious disorder? I mean, it's all over the internet. The man himself said it. So that means Bill Gates, Albert Einstein, Jack Nicholson, Harry Belafonte, and Rainbow Dash don't really have ADHD? ADHD is bullshit. Well, at least one of those last two questions gets an affirmative answer. ADHD is real and Eisenberg never said it wasn't. But there's been no solid evidence that Bill Gates, Jack Nicholson, and Harry Belafonte have it. Einstein was never diagnosed because his lifespan predated the definition. I mean, when he was born, they were describing ADHD as minimal brain dysfunction. And if you ask the general public about Einstein, I doubt any one of them would say brain dysfunction. And by the time they started calling it hyperkinetic reaction of childhood, Einstein had not only grown to adulthood, he was dead. But the ADHD community sure loves to claim him. As does the dyslexia community. As does the dyspraxia community. As does the autism community. And as does the OG nerd community. Contrary to what your cousin told you on Facebook, Einstein did not flunk out of a school. He did not get bad grades. He was a pretty good student. He was accepted into the Lutpold Gymnasium at the age of nine. That's a school for gifted children he attended back in the days before anyone even thought of special accommodations. In fact, Einstein was speaking in complete sentences by the age of two. In his lifetime, he mastered the German language and had a pretty good grasp on French, Greek, Hebrew, and English. As for social stuff, it's said he was charismatic, had a body, sense of humor, and he was a ladies' man. Oh, and he didn't wear the same clothes every day. And if you think you're quoting him, he probably didn't say that. And Rainbow Dash doesn't have ADHD because Rainbow Dash isn't real. But ADHD is. I know this is gonna be a total shocker to you, but sometimes people on the internet like to take a quote out of context to make it look like it means something different than it actually means. I know, right? What it seems like Eisenberg was talking about in that last interview, which by the way happened seven months before he died not on his deathbed was that he thought ADHD was being overdiagnosed and too many kids were being medicated for it without being subjected to a sufficiently thorough examination. After all, he was reacting to a 40-fold increase in ADHD diagnoses. That's crazy. And of that fictitious nature he spoke of, Eisenberg explained, every child who's not doing well in school is sent to see a pediatrician. The pediatrician says, it's ADHD, here's Ritalin. In fact, 90% of these 5.4 million kids don't have an abnormal dopamine metabolism. The problem is, if a drug is available to doctors, they'll make the corresponding diagnosis. I'll link the interview in the description, but I gotta warn you, it's in German, which brings up another problem. Did you ever play telephone? Yeah, well, did you ever play multilingual telephone? Translation isn't a perfect science, especially when the languages aren't really closely connected. As for German, look up Rammstein lyrics and see all the people in the comments arguing about what the songs actually mean. So he wasn't saying ADHD was fake, he was expressing an opinion that 90% of the kids being diagnosed at the time almost certainly had another reason for their behavior instead of ADHD. So this just goes to show you, sometimes you can't trust information on the internet. And it's a shame because I'm old enough to remember the days when everybody said the information superhighway is going to make us all so much smarter. If I earned your subscription, please hit the button and the bell and smash that like button. My kid also makes videos. I'll link her at the end. Thanks for watching. Stay out of the comfort zone. My sister and I are going to try Miracle Berry. It's a fruit that's supposed to make yucky food taste good.